Hello guys, Crispy here, welcome back to another video in this one, my friends, I'm gonna be testing a GeForce GTX 1066 gigabyte in Alan Wake 2 after the performance improving update for these Pascal series GPUs as well as AMD's RX 5000 series. Now this one is the Gaming X version of the card, we are running it with the latest Nvidia drivers and I'm not manually overclocking it, you can see all of its specs right here in Tech Power Ups GPU Z as usual and over on the left we're pairing it with a Ryzen 7 5700G and 16 gigabytes of RAM. Let's get into it! Shall we? Okay, let's go over the settings first. I'm starting at 1080p resolution, native, using the lowest settings possible right here. And again, the GTX 1080 Ti used to get around 25 FPS using these settings uh, previously before the update. Now the 1080 Ti got like 50 to 60 most of the time, uh, as shown in my previous video. Let's see how the 1060 does. Oh boy, no, it's still crap. Okay, obviously before this update, the 1060 I'm would go probably be out. getting like 10 right to 15 Got FPS. It. So 20 is much better, of course. And the frame time graph is a lot more stable, obviously as well. But uh, yeah, it's, it's still very bad, guys. Um, if you have the 1060, you shouldn't really buy this game. And that's to be expected as well, because they do recommend the GTX 1070 as the minimum requirements right now. And the GTX 1060 is about, what, like 30% slower or 35% slower than the GTX 1070. So the 1070 would probably get like 30 FPS, at least around that. Um, but the 1060 just cannot do anything right here, you know. At least at native 1080p, it's a, it's a terrible experience. It, it's a cinematic one, though, but it's, it's pretty terrible. <laughs> Now, one thing that I noticed with the GTX 1080 Ti video that I made previously today was that FSR looks very good in this game. So let's try it with FSR quality, which renders the game at 720p resolution and then upscales it to 1080p. And uh, it's a little bit softer right now. You can notice a little bit of noise sometimes while moving the camera around like this, but it's super minor compared to other titles at least. And now we can actually get up to 30 something FPS in less in intensive areas. Of course, if you look at the vegetation here in the uh, forest area, it, it just goes to hell once again. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not getting 30-ish FPS, which is not too bad, uh, but this little corridor right here is super intensive, and I think it will drop, at least moving in the other direction it is. Yeah, right now it's, it's, it's actually consistently above 30 FPS. <laughs> it's been above 30 FPS for a while, but again, looking in this direction, going through this corridor, it really drops like crazy and uh, into the low 20s, so... Yep, it is not good still, even with FSR quality, we only gained about, what, like 2, 3 FPS maybe, compared to what we were seeing previously, at least in that scenario, over in other scenarios you can get like 30 FPS, but most of the time, apparently, it's gonna stay in the 20s. Now, the good news is, that's only gonna happen here in the forest areas, and this is at the beginning of the game, you know, after this section, and you complete this mission, you're gonna go into the town area, the little city you know that they have going on and uh, it's gonna get a little bit higher fps probably get like 30 plus fps all of the time actually but here yeah it, it's it drops like crazy sometimes so it's it's not really stable at all unfortunately and also after you go to the town area you come back to this place <laughs> so there's that you're gonna spend a little bit of time around forest areas in this game yeah 29 fps average is is not great <laughs> so if you have gtx 1060 i think it's safe to say that the requirements are accurate and you shouldn't really uh, buy this game or install it with a card like this Let's try like 540p right here internally, of course, with FSR it upscales it to 1080p, and uh, this is FSR performance, lowest settings, and I feel like this is what it takes for us to get 30 plus FPS at least most of the time, right here it's getting like mid 30s. Uh, moment of truth, guys. No! <laughs> it still drops into the mid 20s. Holy crap, is this game intensive. Obviously, the 1060 doesn't have mesh shaders, and if it did, it would perform a lot better. Like, I think the 1650 performed a little bit better than what we're seeing here, um, and that's a slower C GPU than uh, the GTX 1060. Uh, but again, the lack of mesh shaders really hurt these Pascal GPUs. 
But hey, at least now it's much better than it used to be. And as you can see, if you don't mind playing with performance FSR and some drops into the 30s, it might be playable. But it's... Nah, <laughs> I wouldn't do this, guys. If you have a GTX 1060, I think you're used to playing games at like 30 plus FPS at the very I least, or even 60 FPS in most older, like 2020 games uh, and older. And well, you're probably not going to enjoy <laughs> the drops into the 20s and frequent drops into the 20s actually here in Alan Wake 2 with the GTX 1060. If you were like a GT 1030 user, for example, sure, I could see how this is playable because it's not really stuttery or anything. It just slows down like crazy sometimes. Um, but with the GTX 1060, I forgot to use the flashlight. It drops like one or two FPS as well. Um, but yeah, no, th this is not the target FPS that you're looking for. Maybe if you bought this used like a week ago and you're coming from a GT710, yeah, sure, <laughs> this will be playable. But with drops into the low 20s, come on, yeah. Avoid, avoid this, okay? Let's do 360p now. <laughs> and at 360p, can we get 30 plus FPS? Also, another good thing about this game is that at 360p, it doesn't look absolutely awful. You know, it doesn't look anywhere near 360p resolution. Uh, FSR2 is doing a really, really great job at upscaling everything here. But it's still getting the same FPS. What if I turn off the flashlight? Yeah, one more FPS, basically is what we get. Oh boy, I don't think it's possible to get 30 plus with a GTX 1060. There is a reason why they put a GTX 1070 on the minimum requirements once again. And well, I would say that these developers are actually paying attention to what they're doing in terms of the requirements. Anyway, moving on, I dropped it down to the 640 by 480 resolution and the ultra performance render scale with FSR2. So it's running at 160. This is the resolution that I used on the GTX 1080 Ti at release to achieve 30 plus FPS on average. It was still dropping, okay? So apparently... <laughs> <laughs> the GTX 1060, even at 160p, can't really run the game at 30 plus FPS. And it's actually surprisingly similar to what the GTX 1080 Ti did hey, back when the game released. What's the so, at least the 1060 is matching the previous performance of the GTX 1080 Ti. So, that's amazing, right? No, not really. <laughs> yeah, if you really want 30 plus FPS all of the time, Again, you're not going to get it in Alan Wake 2, unfortunately, with its GTX 1060. You need to upgrade, guys, okay? Uh, so that's been it. It still drops, as you can see, very often into the 20s in these more intensive areas, 27, 26, even into the mid-20s. And this is without the flashlight. If I turned it on, it gets... It's around the same thing, actually. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's been it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you're not gonna buy this game with this GPU. It's very sad to see the GTX 1060 performing so poorly here just because of a lack of mesh shaders, but it is what it is, guys. All right, thanks very much for watching. Catch you in the next one. Love you all. Bye bye